Your lips are pursed and we don't want to speak about the truth. Who was the Supreme Commander no of the Armed Forces? Ochin Lake. All the three generals of India were British. All the three generals of Pakistan were British. What was this war, Balaj? Churchill had not designed there itself that India has to be partitioned. Geopolitics. This war was a British war. They created it on both sides. The raiders came from where? Northwest Frontier Province. After two terms, Mr. Cunningham, who had been governor in Northwest Frontier Province, he was brought back in July. Just before the elections, <coughs> referendum. The raiders were trained, sent on trucks with weapons of army. Pakistan army had just been split from India. And the biggest, starkest example is Lord, who was fighting Lord. What is this POK today? Two thirds of POK is Gilgit, Baltistan. And who fought the war there, Lord? Not the raiders. It was Major Brown, who was the regent there. He was posted again in July, just before that, by Cunningham. And he, this is a book, Lord, mutiny. He killed all the forces of Maharaja. Ansar Ahmad was posted there, Lord, and he was arrested. And he, in four days, Lord, he hung the flag of Pakistan and he had handed over to Cunningham. He sent some Mr. Alam from Pakistan army and he took over by Gilgit, Pakistan. Where is the war with Pakistan? It is British. But if we close our eyes to all these, then it is the raiders fighting across the world. Raiders could not by themselves come up to Srinagar. The war had reached almost around this Kartu and Karyal and to that closeness to Tibet, uh, to, sorry, Leh. So it was a war of a different kind, but nobody could say it. Because Mountbatten was there, Lord, as the Governor General. Again, must have the leaders, our leaders must maybe having some reason. That even though Lord Jena said, I will not accept any British Governor General, but the party said, no, we are ready to accept Governor, you continue with Indian Governor General. So what is this war, Governor General? And not only this, when the war began, Lord, they constituted a defense committee of the cabinet. And Mountbatten was made the chairman of that. So it's an ex excellent situation. But Mountbatten is the chairman of defense committee. Ochen Lake is the supreme commander of forces. All generals are British and one Britisher is mutinying. And when he returns to England, he is given the um, medal medal of the British Empire. So that's not the position of the war. So when you read the constitution and 370, please bear in mind these things, Lord, in what circumstances our leaders were moving through. And when we were, Lord, about to push them back, Lord, and back and recover the territory, they deliberately stopped the war at a point of time and got the reference to the United Nations. Because if we had gone up to Mirpur and behind, then that connection would have been off with Gilgit and Baltistan. Now, these are hard facts, Lord. Nobody can dispute it. It is in these circumstances, Lord. And what was United Nations? The same very power which for geopolitical reasons, the US and UK, which wanted to partition India, they were made the arbiters. Fortunately for us, Lord, Pakistan refused to vacate POK. So that resolution is dead. There's no need talking about United Nations, but at that time, look at the enormity of the situation in which 370 has been 